father go and her bear and while Sophie is locked in the attic still Hilda and her dad try to bring up some breakfast on a tray for Sophie but are stopped by Elizabeth her mum and while that's all happening Sophie's still locked in the attic and is crying when the door suddenly opens and Sophie thinks that it's her mum finally letting her out but it's not it's Bella so Will actually Bella finally talks to Bella can talk but talks to Sophie and Sophie d didn't know that Bella could talk so she's a bit like overwhelmed and stuff but is Elizabeth finally gonna let her daughter out of the attic and keep in Bella? and yeah so i have done three pages in the last hour um i'm currently watching beauty and the beast so it's on pause and yeah so i think that i will be done again with this chapter i mean that's crazy because it's releasing next year i mean yeah so but you know um so yeah but unfortunately there's a little bit of a rift between sophie and elizabeth about locking sophie in the attic and then elizabeth not letting her her daughter come out I mean Sophie's only seven and it's a bit cruel but unfortunately it was like that back in the day so yeah so it's it's sad but it's a prequel and it follows Sophie and her mum and why the relationship is the way it is now so yeah um. We will be on, I will be on chapter 3 tomorrow, probably. I don't know. But you'll be getting three update vi videos this week. And my location will change next week because I'm staying with my friend next week. So, yeah. And I'm planning on starting my new book tomorrow. I know I said that yesterday. And I know I said that I would start it on Tuesday, but, you know, I'm into a bear and a girl and a bear, the book now, so yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's good. But, so, yeah, that is an update video, chapter two. Bye guys!